I'm Rabbi Michael Pollock with March on Harrisburg. I'm Emmy Chico, also with March on Harrisburg. And we're here to talk about some updates. So in the Senate, we have had two hearings on our gerrymandering bill in the last month. Uh, they've gone very, very well, and we have a third hearing coming up this Monday, May 21st. It will be in room 8E of the East Wing in Harrisburg. We're hoping that they will vote on the bill and we will get it out of committee this Monday. In contrast, in the House, State Government Committee Chairman Daryl Metcalf continues to block all reform. He continues to gut gerrymandering bills, making them toxic and unpassable. But while some are guilty, all are responsible. And there are many in the building who have the power to act. Governor Wolf, uh, Republican leadership in the House, Democratic leadership in the House, the Speaker, so many people have things that they can do to move these bills forward, and they choose not to do them. So, nonviolent civil disobedience will most likely be likely as we approach the June 30th deadline to pass the gerrymandering bill. So start to section off days on your calendar for the last week of June. We expect you to come join us in Harrisburg as we approach the deadline. It's likely going to come down to the deadline in the House. We're going to need you to be in Harrisburg last week of June. And speaking of being in Harrisburg, the Pennsylvania Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival, kicked off yesterday in Harrisburg, and as well as in 37 other state capitals. The Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival, is being led by Reverend Dr. William Barber and Reverend Dr. Liz Theo Harris. It is calling for an end to the inseparable evils of systemic racism, systemic poverty, ecological devastation, and the war economy. It's calling for six weeks of simultaneous action at 40 state capitals across the country. Yesterday's theme was somebody's hurting our people and we won't be silent anymore. After the rally, 13 moral witnesses were arrested while blocking traffic outside of the state capitol building, advocating for women, children, and people with disabilities living in poverty. This is a all hands on deck kind of campaign. Um, all of our struggles are connected. We are all affected by the planks of this. Uh, next week's theme for the Poor People's Campaign is ending systemic racism, um, systemic poverty with a focus on immigration and voting rights. March in Harrisburg is excited to be working with MILPA, which is Movement of Immigrant Leaders, as well as CADB, which is working to end life without parole or death by incarceration. Um, on next week's action. We ask that you come join us and put your body on the line, if you're able, on Monday, May 21st. Um, you can register to join us on Monday, May 21st in Harrisburg at PAPoorPeople'sCampaign.org. And we have some events coming up with March on Harrisburg. So on Monday, May 21st, we'll be in the Capitol with the Poor People's Campaign, and we'll also be in the Capitol with the Poor People's Campaign on Tuesday, May 29th, on Monday, June 4th, Monday, June 11th, and Monday, June 18th. Also, we will be in Scranton with Professor, Professor Lawrence Lessig and democracy scholar Adam Eichen on Thursday, May 31st, and we will be in Cranberry Township, Representative Metcalf's district on June 14th for an event, and then in southwestern Pennsylvania on June 16th. You can find details at marchonharrisburg.org.